It's the mindset, free your mind, free your mind. Mindset, free your mind, free your mind. Hey, not everything that glitter is gold. Everything that's white is snow. On the mindset, I just start, let them know, let them know, let them know. Oh, words from the wise. I just star, we will never lie. Stand on, we will never die. We'll forever shine. I just star, shine like the star in the sky. Some hate, some love. Um, the honorable Anthony. Bless you, love, my lord. Yes, my lord. Give thanks and praise to the most I'm Paracelasia. Ja, Rastafari. Yes, I don't right. know. Yes, yeah, King. Give thanks. Warm welcome, man. Yeah, man. Give thanks. Give thanks at this moment, too, you know. Yes, sir. Great honor for you have the hype on the program, my lad. Yeah, man. It's an honor for you, too, you know. Give thanks, my brother. Celestia. Yeah. You know, bridging and bridging come together to reason. It's always iron sharp, but iron, you know. A tree. Yeah, man. A tree. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Give yeah, thanks. Rastafari. Fire upon row, my lad. This song, mm. this song is over about 20 years old, right? Yeah, man. 20 something years, man. You and understand? It, it's still a relevant song up until today because the incident that we see happening in France over about two days ago now. Yes, Papa. Fulfillment of prophecy, you know? These are the words of prophecy, you know? So, we give thanks to be around today to witness it, you know? Because we've been saying it from our teenage years, from your little boy till now we are a man and still keep on saying it. You understand? Positivity always overcome negativity. Righteousness always overcome the wicked. So that's what it is in a good over evil brother. So let's see, I know. But but more of it more of it jog your memory a little bit, you know, because this song hold too much significance. What did really go through the eye? Mine at the time when the I sit down and I compose a song. Well, what was going through the I mind, I and I was growing up in an era that all we hear about was Mr. Jacket and Mr. Ty. So when we asked who was the oppressor, them say Mr. Jacket and Mr. Ty. Mr. Jacket and Mr. Ty is no identity of a people or a movement. Yes. So Mr. Jacket and Ty can oppress human beings because Jacket and Ty is just a clothes and an appearance. So see when we see the outer road in our jacket and tie and I go pint out there as an oppressor. So I and I go dig deeper in our history to see where most of these ideas of colonialization and imperialization and separation, what they call domination, to create what they call a civilization. So you invade the land of another man, underrate his culture, underrate his, his philosophy, underrate his way of life. Even though it, it's a tradition that has been there thousands of years before the city of Rome was built. And you say that it's time to civilize these people into the colonial Roman belief. And that's where it all started. And it's the same thing going on today with even the modern country. So it's that same idea. The first Senate and senators were formed in Rome. And we still see them today, Senate and senators, even our modern system. So it is not a system. Even in the biblical Bible that they write, which is not the Rastaman book, but is their book, but they still write it in it. Yes. That Rome, Rome, Rome will last until the day of salvation, until the day of judgment. You understand? And we can see the Roman philosophy is still going on today. The military power dominate the world. And that's what the Roman idea is. The baddest man with the biggest army. Yes. He, he control the world, even though you might have the resources, you have the oil, you have the gold, you have the mineral, you have the spices. You will never benefit from it unless you have a bigger army than the Roman army. So that's what the system is. And that's why we ask ourselves, what is justice? You understand? How can there be a system of justice when everybody read and know? And when I check the head of this belief system is the Roman system and that's why I sing a song called Fire Upon Rome because we learn that if, if the Scotland Yard and the CIA and the FBI is going after an organization they go after it from the head from True. the root who is the father who is the grandfather of this movement they go after the mafia they go after the godfather so if we're gonna go after corruption we have to go go after it from the root a true far right yeah man 
understand? And the root of this corrupted belief is the Roman belief system. Yes, sir. That's where it is. So Jamaica belongs to Jamaican, but we won't be benefit from it because we don't have a better army than the Roman army. So the man who have the baddest army, he shall benefit from the island of Jamaica, not the islanders. And it's the same thing going on in Africa. So that is the Roman system. So you understand? So. Because we don't fight religious war. I let last year I teach us to have religious tolerance, and that's what we have. So we don't attack people religious belief. Yes. You understand? That's sacred to a man. So when we say fire upon Rome, we don't mean that the people who think that we are going after the Roman Catholic movement. That's not it. We're going after the Roman belief system, imperial yes. system, racist system, colonial system. You understand? This military where the bad man control the world. And I, and I dictate to the rest of the world. That is it. So if you don't have a nuclear in this modern world right now, no matter what resources you have, your people will suffer. So let's say I know. Um, yeah. This this particular song because you, there I was very young when 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 you put out this song, and fire upon room. There I get a whole pan knock for fire upon room, but at the same time, you feel say it was a blessing in 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 this guys because they banned the song. It was a blessing, you know. I couldn't say nothing is a curse because Rastafari work in mysterious way and his wonders to perform, you know. So we give thanks for that moment because before I sang that song, you know, before I say fire upon room, my brother, my, my mother was living in a one room house with dirt floor, you know. That was a nice situation at the time. So I would do anything to get my mother life in a better circumstances. So I, w I was even working on site going out mixing matter, looking yard work, any kind of work, just to change my mother's situation. So that's where I was. I was I, I was a walking dead at that time. I was a youth without fear and I just have one care to get my mother somewhere, get out of the situation that I was born in. So that was my mindset at the time. I can say that to you realistically. So that's say I know. Yes I. Yeah man. Ah oh. So it's a blessing, my brother, because it, you understand, it changed, changed my mother's life and it changed her and I life. And I and I plan to take the journey, like how I and I get it, you know, one, two, one, two, and slowly but surely. Yeah. You see, and I and I say, I'm going to run down too much of the big league, you know, I just stick to the league when I'm in a car, you know, who I am, what I am, and what my mission is. You understand? Because as Peter thought, say, I am that I am. I am. Yes, I for real. Yeah, I stand so. If you see me, me just remain a humble soul, humble soldier. Do the work as just if you do it. And no exaltation, no ego. No time for you out there to post and show off because it's a nation building and the nation still not even quite away the journey. So you understand? We don't see no reparation and no. We are the only domination, the only people as on earth that so much book has written about our don't follow our atrocity, our brutalization, our slave experience, our, our soul and bath, and we are the only one get no reparation, get nothing. We were we were freed from slavery, nothing. Still our work, so still we. Still working to find something. So I don't cry, brother. I just give thanks, wake up and open my eye and have health and strength and make your work because. Many, many people out there don't believe that there is a God in there. Many people don't believe that there is Almighty. You understand? So we have to know we're living in a time where we know that He exists. In we are not searching. Bob Marley said, in this time, you have to know and not believe. So that's the I know. You understand? Because this judgment is not water. You no know? water can put out this fire in your life. You understand? It's going to burn. Nothing is going to stop this one. This judgment will be fire. Yes, I understand. Sir, we, sure. see, we see when it get wild, it get wild everywhere. Everywhere. So, yes, everywhere. Sir. And it can't be stopped and it can't be blamed and it can't be branded and it can't be tamed. It can't lose its visa. It can't get banned. It can't get blocked out. The news can't come and say it is wanted. So, let's just work. So I say, I know. Yes, I. I know what I I I look and 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 see still. Cause 
I and I as 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 you know blood and fire warriors as as, as Rasta people, Zin. But with with careful observation, Zin, in all honesty, within within the music, within reggae music, the I the first artist really that we hear people start to say boy at the fireman that before we started to hear more fire you know from yeah man fire power room is the first problematic fire song in this modern era you understand in this the first song that government come out and people get afraid of you understand i, I am one of the first reggae artists in this modern era because of that song i i couldn't sing on certain show you know you may not get certain promotion may not get certain push i don't get certain highlight certain coverage I'm still like a diamond in the dirt. You understand? Because the way I appear and the way I come and because of that song, Fire Pan Road. So, as I say, humility, you know, because just say, we exalt will be a base. You know? mm -hmm. And you, you humble shall be exalted. You know? So that's why I remain humble. Because it's a journey. It's a long journey. It's not two miles. You understand? And a five year or a six year, 20 year, and the journey is still going. So we give thanks and just keep showing I and I. How strong and how strong he give I and I that strength to continue. You know? For real, for real, my general. Because, you know, say, the eye, you know, I, I, man, I observe the eye. Zin, I observe the eye very carefully. As a youth, I grew up, you know what I mean? We grew up on the eye music, right? But the eye, the eye is one of the most tour artists right now for over. For over the last three years, you know, if I recall the I do a world tour probably last year or the year before that. Mm -hmm. But outside of the world tour, the I is one of the most toured artists within reggae music right now. And the I do have a number one song on the chart. <laughs> because you see, what we have to what I always look at in, in this life, you know. And I can say this to all my brethren and my sister out there. You know, you're singing music or you're living your day-to-day -day life. There's billions of Indians on this planet Earth. But we remember Gandhi. Mm -hmm. So we, we, are, we are remembered for what we are, you know, what we stand for, what we represent. You understand? This little rapper that just passed, I never hear one of his songs. But when I start to hear the work that he has done and the work he was doing, he, he get my credit, he get my respect. Yes. You understand? So that's where I see relevancy, is what you do, what you're about, what you stand for. You understand? So sometimes it's more than the only for hype music. And, you understand? Because someone might say, don't hear a new song for you, but then you come to a, I go to a place like India, King in Macassel is a big song, and that's my newest song that I'm promoting for my album. So that's why I stay on the road. Yes, the far right. Yes, yes I... because it's not where I, I I have a saying that is not where you are you are tolerated, you know, but is where you are appreciated. You know. Well, is is reality, you know, is it's funny they are even said that still because you know a, a prophet have no honor in his own country, but okay. <laughs> but when we when we check it still, Zin. The eye is more consistency with, 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 with quality content more than, than anything else because I think that's what really keep the eye upon the road. How, yeah, impo that's... how important that is, you know what I mean, for, for, for other youths now who are forward in the big because the eye been in the business for over 20 years now, far right? Yeah, well, I would say to all the youths out there that reggae music is not always understandable to the wider public by lyrics are word for word. So content is very important. You understand? Can you check a country like Japan, you go to Japan, you might find 20% English speaking people. So when you're gonna go to Japan and you're singing in front of 25,000 people, you need content and topics and issue that they can understand. Rastafari. So they will so they will leave the concert and say, okay, Anthony B, yeah, man, we understand he's about love and he respect woman and he's about peace. And they might not understand every word you sing for the night in the concert. 
So you have to leave them with some form of content, something that they can go home and want to come to another concert and see you. Because what you stand for, your significance, your purpose, your message. So you have to have good content, make it clear to that what you are about. Yes, I, for real. Yeah, man. And I hope the youths, them are, uh, uh, well, I know say a whole heap, I go, uh, uh, I go check the recording afterwards and, you know, for all who are listening now, for real. Yeah, tricky, man, and you know? every, every time you get a mic, every time you get a mic in your hand, man, no matter how much time, how much it song you have, treat it like it's your first appearance. That's my advice to most entertainer. Because that's where the problem comes. When you get a lot of big songs and then people start go crazy for you and then come out and they are so disappointed. You, you record a selector get bigger deliver delivery to the crowd with a record of you than you will get bigger response from the from people the when them see you live. Yes. Yes. So it's don't don't busy. treat it don't treat it like because you start making millions now your ego take over. So you are on the sky like you are float. No treat. That's what. That's why people will always come out to see you because they know you give your heart. So they don't care how much hit song. They will come to see you. They know you're gonna give your heart. That man have a million hit song, but he don't do nothing when he come out and appear. <laughs> no performance. So at, so at the end of the day, you still have to judge your dollar because everybody's working hard. Mm-hmm. So if me take my dollar, so me buy a ticket to come and see you. Come on, show me appreciate my dollar. Yeah, man, for real. Don't just come and stand up and like you just the better me to go to the dance, go listen to the selector and play a song. Come here, get more vibes out of it. You understand? So every night you go on a stage, you might see 20,000 people in front of you, but you don't know if 5,000 of that people is the first time they're going to see you. If it's the first time they're going to hear a reggae artist live in their life. So you're not only doing it for you. So that's say I know. All right. Good point, great point. Um, more we'll have to play another song from the eye, Zane. I we'll have to play another song from the. It's a, it's a song that I really love, you know.